one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Our challenge was to create a rocket. No, not a rocket like Space Shuttle Discovery, capable of reaching space, but a rocket we could build from simple materials that could move. I made my 321 Puff rocket out of some simple household items. A large pencil, ruler, tape, scissors, two pieces of printer paper, a straw, and a meter stick for measuring flight distance. The first step in creating my 321 Puff rocket was building the rocket body itself. I used a large pencil as a mold and wrapped my printer paper diagonally around the pencil. Once I had used all of my paper, I taped the two ends together and clipped the paper straight across on both ends to create an even surface. I left the back of the rocket open for my fuel, a breath of air, and brought the top together to form a point, or the tip of my rocket. The next step in the rocket design process was creating my wings. I decided on four wings for my rocket. I took two pieces of paper, folded them in half hamburger style, and used my ruler to draw the shape of my wings. I cut out the four wings, which are actually just two pieces, and taped them onto my rocket. Now my rocket design is finished. Time for the fun part. Now we'll move on to trial number one, collecting our baseline data. After completing our first rocket test, we must collect our data. The data we are collecting in this case is how many inches our rocket traveled. After completing four trials and collecting distance data, I needed to make sense of the numbers. I used a table to organize the data and figure out that the average distance traveled by the rocket was 50 inches. After completing the four baseline trials, it was time to improve my rocket. I hypothesized that if I trimmed down my wings, my rocket would travel a further distance. The reason the rocket should travel a further distance is a matter of inertia, the reluctance of an object to change its state of rest or uniform motion. My rocket will be less massive with a smaller amount of inertia, so it should travel further. So what did I find? My experimental average increased from 50 to 57.25 inches, a lot less than I expected. A few of my numbers in my experimental data were also less than my baseline data. I determined that a large part of what may be giving me my skewed results is the fact that there is no way you can blow the same uniform breath in the rocket at every launch. This brings another variable in besides the change in wings. Resources for building the 321 Puff rocket and other rockets are available at NASA's website, nasa.gov.